Hello there, this is the Shadow Ranger. Uh, this is going to be a, another fantasy roster video. Um, a while back, I did a series of videos called Roster Free Agents. I was talking about how there's so many free agents that we know in wrestling just from just ex-WWE and ex-TNA guys that you can make a whole roster of guys. And I was saying that you know you can make one. And uh, one of my subscribers, uh, haven't heard from in a while though, a WWE TNA ROH guy, asked me to do one where I even included indie wrestlers. Right? And I never, I said I'd do it, but it, it was a couple months back and I never did. So I've been uh, working on it for the past uh, about two weeks or so, putting together a roster. So I want to share the roster that I came up with. Gotta admit though, this was harder than I thought. Because I, I, as I put together this roster, just something I think was missing. But I'm not really sure what. So, I'm going to uh, go through this roster, talk a little bit about it. You share me your thoughts and who you might want to think should add to it. And I'll hang on to it and some I like update it every couple of months. And you know when there's any major releases, hirings or firings uh, on TV, you know, I'll update it. Alright, I decided instead of coming up with a name for a promotion, I'm just going to go with the NWA. So this is sort of my new NWA roster. I'm, I'm trying to bring the NWA back to the national stage. Make it the, the powerhouse that it once was. Um, what we're assuming with this roster is that I, that I have financial backers who are putting money into this project. And that, you know we're have or really close to securing a national TV deal because I'm gonna go national so uh, my championships real quick of course you have the NWA world title uh, my secondary title would be I think I'm good with the North American title the NWA North American title I was trying to think of maybe that or the national title cuz I you know but I, I like the North American title better I like the name of it better uh, a third tier belt would probably be the uh, the television title. And I don't know if the NWA television world television title still exists. Uh, I know that NWA Hollywood recently crowned their inter an international TV champion. You could use that though, but a TV title that I would have the world tag team titles and a women's title. That would be my belts I have. That's one, two, three, four, five championships. So um, let's go through it real quick. I'm going to go through each person on the roster. Maybe throw in a few words about them. Uh, first, my women's roster. My women's roster is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 women. Uh, I got Buggy from into Hollywood. I express a lot that I really like her character. She's someone that I really like and want to see. Uh, Mia Yim, another girl in the indie scene that I like. Now I don't. Now she does stuff with Ring of Honor, but my understanding is she's in like under contract with them, so that makes her available. Uh, Hamada, Ayoko Hamada, I would spend the money to bring her to the U.S. for full time to work for my company. Um, Alyssa Anderson, A.K.A. Chili Melissa, A.K.A. Alyssa Flash. Uh, she's someone I always liked. Who you know? I always thought she didn't really get to do a whole lot in TNA. More, I think there was a lot more she could have done as Alyssa Flash. You know, she did the right Saeed stuff, but you know, as herself, I just thought there was more she could have done, but she didn't get to do. Oh, uh, Roxy, always the woman I liked. Uh, the one everybody's gonna have problem with, but I keep saying if you can't find a place for this woman, there's something wrong with your. There's something wrong with you. I said the Amazon. I know people like to say bad her, but this. She's six foot nine. If you can't find something for a six foot nine woman, there's something wrong with you. You work around it. I mean, anyway, Daphne, one of my all-time favorites, my all-time favorite woman in wrestling, number one for me. If I if I'm if I have a women's division, there'll always be a place in it for Daphne. Melina recently became available. Uh, she's had she you know she's recognizable. She's a recognizable name. I know with Melina, you hear a lot of drama with her, um, but you work around it. People know her. She's good. And she's good in the ring. She's gorgeous. Um, she's well known because she's been in WWE for like what six or seven years. So she would be one. Taylor Wilde, who was my favorite knockout, she did decide to retire, but she said that there was a good opportunity. She could see herself coming, going, coming out of retirement, going back to wrestling. 
I'd offer her the money to bring back because she would probably end up being like the face of my division. Jazz, you want a veteran to work with with some of the younger girls and do stuff with them. Jazz has always been a really good good woman, great hand, great in the ring. A good veteran to help some of the younger girls out. Absolutely have a spot for her for a long time. Uh, Jillian Hall is somebody who I thought had good ability, but just never really got to show it in WWE because they stuck with dumb gimmicks. I would give her a chance to kind of see what she can do as a wrestler and try something different. Serena Deeb, I've seen a lot more of. Again, she's someone that's known. She has she's had some exposure, so let's see what she can do. And then uh, my last person would be Shelly Martinez. I always like Shelly, and it's all I think she's a good addition to anybody's roster. So those are my women. Um, um, attack teams next. Um, my first team is a team from NWA Hollywood, Natural Selection. Team I really like. Um, I think they're great heels. They got they're great cocky heels. I actually, I heard they might be splitting that team up or something in NWA Hollywood. But anyway, in my promotion, they'd still be together. Um, uh, also from NWA Hollywood, the Rottenest Monsters are a team. That I really like, really good babyface team. Can eat. I bet they can they easily get over with any crowd. Uh, Deuce and Domino is a team I always like. Possibly do something different with the team. I can't really say what though. Uh, a UK tag team I put together would be DJ Gabriel and Paul Burchill. Uh, after that would be the Rock and Rave Infection, another team I like from TNA. Uh, I'll bring in the Soul Touches that I've seen from in Chikara. Now, Willie Richardson, it, it would just be Willie Richardson, Acid Jazz, and Marche Rocket. Uh, Willie Richardson would most likely be doing singles, but Acid Jazz and Marche Rocket, I would have more doing the tag stuff, though. But, you know, you can put Willie in sometimes if you need to. But, they, you know, they're a three man group. Also, another three man group that I would have in my tag team scene would be Fist, also from Jakarta, Friends in Similar Tights. That would be, um,. Icarus, Chuck Taylor, and Johnny Gargano. Uh, after that would be the Tribe, also from NWA Hollywood. And the Cutler Brothers, that I also have seen in NWA Hollywood, I've gotten to see. I have to do something with the Cutler Brothers. Make, they look, the only thing about them, they look kind of plain. Kind of have to f- do something with their look, though. So that's, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9 tag teams. All right. On to my singles roster. Uh, some guys from NWA Hollywood I like to have. Peter Avalon, I like him. Nick Madrid, great underdog, babyface. Uh, Famous B. Willie Mack, you know, my favorite guy in NBA Hollywood. You know, he's one of those guys I'm like, you know, I, I expect to see him in in, in a bigger promotion pretty in, within the next couple of years. Uh, Ricky Mandel, the mirror image. Joey Chaos got a great look, great personality, something a little different. Of course, I mean, the current NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, uh, absolutely would be in my promotion. Would be my champion for a while, the top guy in my promotion. I would build my promotion around him as my top guy, heel or face. He can do both. Um, Joey Ryan is somebody that I like. I've gotten, to, you know, I, I learned more about, see more of in uh, NWA Hollywood. And I actually heard he's recently left NWA Hollywood. You know, they finally turned him heel. Like I said before, I always thought he was he. He just felt and looked like a heel to me, so he would be a good uh, higher up heel for me. Uh, Scorpio Sky is next on my list. He would be there. So that's pretty much all my guys that's from NWA Hollywood. I'd have. Uh, also, uh, well, I'll get to him later. Um, Next on my list is uh, Bam Neely. He was uh, kind of doing the bodyguard thing with Chavo for a while back in 08, and he did the La Familia thing in WWE. I always liked him. I liked his look. He was somebody I wanted to see more of and just never got the opportunity to, so I would give him a, have him on my roster. Possibly Kalen Croft, just to, but he'd really be more enhancement talent, really. Uh, Chavo Guerrero, good veteran, good in-ring guy, always good hand to have. Uh, Chris Masters 
is next on my list. Not much to say about him. Cody Deaner, Deaner I always like, but I probably do uh, probably not like Redneck Cody Deaner. I probably I'd rather do uh, Everyman Cody Deaner. I've shown y'all a clip of Everyman Cody Deaner. Him, we got the beard, the glasses, the leather jacket, kind of like he looked kind of like a biker type thing. I'd have that Cody Deaner. I really like him. Shane Helms, well-known guy, very recognizable, good in the ring. You don't have to say much about else about him. Uh, Kenny Dykstra, a young guy that a lot of people want to see more of. You know, everybody I ever heard talk about him speaks highly of him. Um, you know, he's a guy who gets the shot. You know, I think he's been gone along that you got that t- that stink of the Spirit Squad off of him. So it'd be a good just re debut him as Ken Doan or under a new name and you know let him do something new and different. Kevin Furtig, aka aka Kevin Thorne. Um, would I do the vampire stuff? I don't know. Maybe try something different with him. Uh, another veteran I think has always been good in the ring that you could do good stuff with is Kip James, aka Billy Gunn. Uh, Low Key, aka Shinshi, aka Caval. Came off winning NXT 2. Uh, never really got to do much in WWE. He's a guy who just wants to wrestle. So, I'd find people for him to wrestle. Um, he has a following, so yeah, I don't mind him coming in. He, he doesn't all go overboard with the X Division stuff that gets on my nerves, so he's a good guy to have. Luke Gallows, another guy I always heard good stuff about that I have. Give him a shot. Mike Knox, big dude, solid guy, powerhouse. You can always do something with him. Trevor Murdoch, another guy I like that. Give it a shot. I mentioned Willie Richardson as part of. Uh, Soul touches, he'd be there. Uh, Carlito. I really don't have anything to say about Carlito. What else do I really need to say? Uh, Rashi Brown, another guy from NWA Hollywood. I've meant, forgot to mention that I've seen, you know, there. I know he did some stuff in Ring of Honor, too. Uh, good big guy, powerful guy. I think he has a good presence. That's somebody I'd like to see. Uh, Snitsky, I thought about, who, you know, you got a big, mean looking guy, that's a guy I can, you know, I said before, you know, I'm looking for like a new beast in wrestling, that's a guy that can be your new beast right there, Rashi Brown could too, and uh, Michael Tarver, just cause he was part of Nexus, and so right now, he's somebody that, that's r- very recognizable to wrestling fans and you know kind of get a chance to see what he could do on his own so that's my singles roster so um, one last time I'll go through them. a women's roster Buggy Nova, Mia Yim, Hamada, Melissa Anderson, Roxy, Isis the Amazon, Daphne, Melina, Taylor Wilde, Jazz, Jillian Hall, Serena Deeb, and Shelly Martinez uh, my tag teams, Natural Selection, The Rotten Ass Monsters, Deuce and Domino, uh, Paul Burchill and DJ Gabriel, The Rock and Rave Infection, Acid Jazz and Marche Rocket, uh, Fist, The Tribe, and The Cutler Brothers. And my singles, Peter Avalon, Nick Madrid, Famous B, Willie Mack, Ricky Mandel, Joey Chaos, Adam Pierce, Joey Ryan, Scorpio Sky, Bam Neely, Kaylin Croft, Chavo Guerrero, Chris Masters, Cody Dina, Shane Helms, Ken Doan, Kevin Thorne, Kip James, Low Key, Luke Gallows, Mike Knox, Trevor Murdoch, Willie Richardson, Carlito, Rashi Brown, Snitsky, and Michael Tarver. So that's what I got as a roster so far. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think there's something missing from this roster. So give me your suggestions of who you think is missing from this roster. I'm looking at free agents here. So nobody that's in WWE, nobody that's in TNA. And I'm counting Ring of Honor on there too, so no one from Ring of Honor. You know, I heard he hadn't signed with anybody, so if he hadn't signed with anybody, who else I would add to this list is Colt Cabana. I mean, I mean, there's rumors that he's signing with WWE. If that doesn't happen, most people think he's going to re-sign with Ring of Honor. As far as I know, my understanding is he hasn't signed with WWE and he hasn't signed a Ring of Honor contract. So, he's technically still a free agent as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm going to add him to this list too. 
Colt Cabana until I hear something definite about him signing a contract with somebody. So yeah, uh, got this under 20 minutes. That's good. So um, I will post a full roster in the description uh, video. In the description box of this video um, take a look at it give me what you think who you might add who you might would take out I'm trying but I don't want to go overboard with this roster I mean my singles wrestlers that's what one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty eight singles wrestlers I got nine tag teams and thirteen women so you know let's even then, that, that, that's looking like it might be too many people anyway. So what do you think of this roster? Give me your thoughts. Uh, is it too big? Is it too small? Who would you remove? Who would you add? Just give me your thoughts on this roster. Also, I invite you to make one of your own. You're, if you're bringing back the NWA to the national stage, you got some belts here. Um, tell me what championships you'd have and give us your roster, your singles, tag teams, and... <clears throat> A women's roster if you're going to have a women's division if you don't have one you know i don't have anything like a cruiserweight or an x division type thing in here um just not my thing uh if that's something you would want to have make a create a new belt for it and put some cruiserweight x division type guys in if that's what you would like to do i'm very interested in seeing other people's fantasy roster i like doing these fantasy roster videos it's just it's it's actually kind of it's just a fun thing to do that, you know, put some real thought into. Like, man, what if I was really doing it? Who would you really pick? And who would you bring in for your roster? So I really would like to see some of yours. So anybody who's watching this video, give us your fantasy roster. Uh, if you were bringing back the NWA, just give me what belts you're going to have and your singles, tags, women's, whatever division, other type of division you're going to do. And leave your feedback on mine. So... That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Since this video didn't go as long as I thought it would, I will leave you with a classic promo from the late great Macho Man. Uh, excuse me, the late great Macho King, Randy Savage. Enjoy. This is the Shadow Ranger. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. The official word the last time Hacksaw Jim Duggan faced the Macho King, Randy Savage. Macho King over Hacksaw with a pin. But Macho King, I must say, uh, some very controversial uh, decision. Controversial I must say. T.